before I do an everything shower, of course, I have to put on some form of music or entertainment. So today I chose Michael Jackson, of course, if you know me, you know. But first things first, when I get into the shower, I wash my hair and I'm using the Briogeo Scalp Revival Shampoo and I'm massaging that into my scalp. Massaging your hair, you guys, is my number one tip for hair growth. It has changed the hair growth game for me, but I love this scalp scrub because I feel like I have a brand new scalp after using it. I kid you not. Then I go in with a function of beauty shampoo and conditioner. I love this stuff and the bread beauty deep conditioner. I feel like it really gives me a lot of slip in order for me to to tangle my hair more easily which is obviously really important because y'all i was i was struggling a little bit <laughs> After my hair is detangled, I then put it in a bun so that my hair doesn't get any soap in it when I wash my body. But as you guys will see, I did end up getting soap in my hair. Before I wash my body, I go in with this Kapari KP Bump Scrub. And I've been loving this, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I feel like it's really getting rid of all of the texture on my body so the first soap that i use is the dr bronner's peppermint soap i love anything dr bronner's you guys already know and i put this on my african net sponge and or cloth you can get these off of amazon etsy or you can also buy them locally My second soap is Way's Body Wash in the St. Bart scent. And now hear me out, y'all. I know that is a summer scent, but I couldn't help myself. Anytime I want to have a really nice, luxurious shower, I use something from Way. Okay? Because their stuff is just that good. This is just me shaving my underarms. I use the same thing to shave my armpits that I use on my legs, which you guys will see later on. And then I just rinse all of the conditioner and deep conditioner out of my hair. For my legs, I just use the same body wash combo, of course, but let's make sure we're washing our legs, y'all. I don't know why there was so much discourse and conversation about people not washing their legs in the shower. That's absolutely insane. Okay, let's make sure we're washing our legs. All right, because just standing in the shower is not cleaning your legs, Buki. Okay. I then go in with that same Kapari scrub just for any texture on my legs. And you guys will see me go in with the Way St. Bart's scrub as well, just because honestly, I just wanted to smell good. That's literally the only reason I use that scrub. It's a really good scrub, but I didn't feel like I needed to. Also, I don't show you guys me washing my feet because the dogs were barking, honey. And then to shave, I just use the EOS Shave Cream. I think this is the unscented version, if I'm not mistaken. I really like this because I feel like it gives me a really nice shave with no razor burn or bumps. And I use a Flamingo Razor. I'm not too particular on what razors I use anymore like I was a while ago. But honestly, I really don't care what works is what works. And don't be alarmed, y'all. I do wash downstairs. I wash with an unscented soap, like a Dove bar or something like that, or even sometimes a baby soap, but I do wash downstairs, okay? Body care is coming up next, and I'm gonna go through this really quickly because my routine is so simple now. I'm going with the Good Molecules Hydrating Body Serum, Ordinary Glycolic Toner under the arms, and then the Way St. Bart's Body Cream for all over. Love that body cream, okay? It smells amazing. I know this isn't really like a shower routine, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of my skincare. This is from Dr. Jart, and this is just their hydrating toner. She's definitely that girl, makes my skin really plump. I love her. 
Then for some extra hydration, I'm going with the hyaluronic acid from Good Molecules and my gua sha just to snatch that chin. I'm probably doing it wrong. Please don't drag me in the comments, y'all. Um, I was struggling a little bit, but it's okay. Now I'm going in with a retinol from the brand Matter of Fact, and I don't even know if I need to use retinol, but I'm honestly, I'm using it as a preventative. I don't mind aging, so please don't start that in the comments, y'all. I do not mind that. I just, I don't know. I was told I'm supposed to use it. And then this is the Dr. Jar Moisturizer. One thing everybody should have is an eye cream. This is from Kiehl's. It's the corrective one. I love Kiehl's down. Then I'm just grooming my eyebrows, y'all, because honestly, they needed it really, really bad. Really, 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 really bad. <laughs> but after I groom my brows, you guys, I'm all done. That was it for today's video. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.